So it says that a rubber ball of mass M falls vertically and strikes the ground with a velocity of magnitude 2V. Okay, so this one, I think I want to draw a picture. Why? I don't know. Like, sometimes I just feel like a picture helps. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't. Um, I haven't really gone through any of these questions yet. But when I read that, I think, okay, I think most of you would prefer, let's draw a picture quickly. So what we have is we've got a rubber ball of mass M falls vertically. Okay, so it falls vertically. And it has a mass of m. And it strikes the ground with a velocity of 2v. The rubber ball rebounds. So that just means that it bounces back up again, as we would imagine. And it goes upwards. Obviously, guys, the mass would stay the same, right? You don't need to get super technical and be like, yeah, but technically, when the rubber hits the, the floor, some of the rubber is going to fall off. It does. We don't do that at all. So, okay, so that, that's how it's going to rebound and um, with a velocity of V. Now, sorry, let me put the V separately. Now, the question says, what is the magnitude of the change in the momentum? Now, I can guarantee you, I could actually become really rich right now. I could say for every person who gets this wrong, I'm going to get 100 Rand and I could probably retire very soon. Like most of you, a lot of you, and I only say this because I've I've taught a lot of learners in the past. Um, most of you are going to say, oh, Kevin, this is easy. B, duh. Um, <laughs> because you're going to say, you're going to say 2MV minus MV because they want to know the change in the momentum. By the way, momentum is mass times velocity. So um, the momentum, let me actually just quickly say here, the momentum for this one is M 2MV. And then the momentum for this one is MV, okay? Now, a lot of you would say, okay, well, Kevin, if I want to calculate the change, if I want to calculate the change in the momentum, then I just have to take the momentum final minus the momentum initial. Okay, well, if you're getting the final minus initial, then I'm happy because many students don't know that. You must always say final minus initial. But then what a lot of you are going to do is you're going to go say um, that the final momentum is MV minus, then you're going to say that the original momentum is 2MV. And then you're going to get an answer of negative MV. And then you're going to say, oh, okay, well, obviously the negative doesn't matter. So I'm just going to choose this one over here. Guys, incorrect. Why? You are forgetting about something that is very, very important. And that is direction. Direction, guys. You can't just say MV is the momentum. You got to say, um, you got to choose a direction as positive, right? And it doesn't matter what you choose. It, does, it really doesn't matter what you choose, but you got to choose something. Now, let me show you how that changes everything for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a direction as positive and it doesn't matter. Now, statistically, a lot of you guys like to choose upwards as positive. So I'm just going to do that. Upwards as positive. Then I'm going to go use my formula. Delta P is equal to the momentum final minus the momentum. Whoa, Kevin. Minus the momentum initial. Then I'm going to go fill this in. So if I look at the final, it's going to be M. Actually, I should just show you guys like this. Okay. So that's going to be equal to the mass, which we don't know. Now, the final velocity is V. And guys, look at this now. It's going up. So we can keep it as a positive. There we go. Then we say minus. Now, the original, I mean, the original mass is obviously M. But look at the initial velocity. It's 2V, but it's going down. And we chose up as positive. So this actually becomes a negative 2V. And that is the part that a lot of you sometimes don't get correct. Okay. And so if you had to go work this out now, you're going to get MV. And then it's going to end up becoming a plus, plus 2MV. And so the final answer is 3MV. And so D is actually the final answer or the correct answer. All right.